Welcome to Plug Tax, everybody. Um, we are so excited to start our hackathon. Uh, we have been waiting for this very moment for so long. Uh, you know, we've enjoyed having you at all our bootcamp events so far. Uh, you know, it's been really fun for us to interact with the panelists and to see you interact with the panelists as well. Um, we tried to make that a really interactive experience and hopefully that was, you know, helpful for you guys. Um, we're going to release a uh, form soon that kind of uh, lists out, you know, like how you thought about the whole boot camp and like what we could improve on for next time because we definitely want to do this again next year. So we're going to send that out and if you guys can give some tips, that would be great. So look look out for that. But for now, uh, let's touch let's jump right into this hackathon ceremony okay so i'll hand it off to rithvik to talk a little bit about our sponsor who made this all happen intern pursuit yeah thanks akshat so um i'm just because this is mainly like a plaque sax intro ceremony i'm only going to touch on it for a few sentences essentially but intern pursuit is basically um an intern management company and they basically strive to be the next linkedin but for intern talent and so Intern Pursuit is actually one of our clients for the uh, for the fall semester. Um, they're a high growth startup um, in a lot of accelerators, got a lot of like seed money coming in. And um, so like they're really busy, but um, I mean, they're really interested in working with us. And so um, we're really, really excited to work with them. And, um, you know, like I can't really go too much into like the details of our project, but we're going to be helping them to de like develop their platform. So we're really, really excited about the project. And if you want to learn more about um, Intern Pursuit, definitely check out their website. Uh, I think it's www.internpursuit.tech or uh, come to one of our info sessions in the future. So um, with that, I'll pass it back to Akshat. Cool. Thank you, Rithvik, for that uh, great sponsor word. Uh, definitely check them out if you're interested in learning more about them. Uh, they service you, so uh, definitely be sure to check that out. Okay, so the, I just wanted to go over the three goals we have for you for this hackathon, right? Uh, what we want for you to accomplish during this hackathon is one, make new friends. So PlexTech provides you a unique op opportunity for you and your team to forge professional contacts and make new friends. Um, you've already seen this through our boot camps. Uh, we've held, uh, I think we've held a social boot camp that allowed you to meet other people inside Plex Tech and um, other participants in the hackathon. And we've also hold, held multiple panels for you to interact with new people. Um, so we're definitely, you know, kind of furthering that vision with the hackathon. So we're expecting about more than 100 software developers working um, in this hackathon. So you should definitely grab your chance to connect with some people and discuss ideas and opportunities. Uh, if you're a brand new freshman, this is really precious for you to make friends. And uh, really like, you know, this is where your career actually progresses. Networking is a huge thing. So definitely take advantage of this opportunity to make friends. Um, innovation is also really important. Uh, that's why you're gonna kind of innovate, you know, make a new product. Uh, basically, hackathons are proving grounds for new ideas, right? They're very low risk. So you can basically make anything and it doesn't really have any real world impact besides you losing maybe like 36 hours of your life. But like, that's pretty little uh, compared to like, you know, millions of dollars of loss in a company, right? When you're actually, if you, if you actually want to develop this for a company. Um, so yeah, so the risks are low, rewards are high. And um, lastly, we want you to learn, right? Sometimes a developer just wants to implement something cool, but he, he or she just doesn't have time, right? Because they're so caught up with work or school or something. So hackathons are a great platform for you to just experiment and learn something new. Because in this, in, especially in the age of like COVID-19, there's so much stuff to do. Um, and we just you know, need some time to ourselves and just learn something new. So that's why you know hackathons are great for that. Uh, and that we're trying to really reflect that in our judging, by the way, is we want to see you uh, learn and innovate um, and make new friends, these three goals. So as long as you've accomplished these three goals, you're golden in our judging book. So yeah. And now I'll hand it over. Actually, I do want to speak a little bit more about hackathon logistics. So. Um, some of the logistics here is, you know, you're at the opening ceremony here today. 
And then at 10 p.m. in about um, 45 minutes Pacific time, um, the hackathon will begin, right? And that's when you're going to start coding. And hopefully you've already have, have already set up your team. If you haven't, that's a little bit of a problem and you need to, you might want to leave this meeting and start forming your team right now if you can. Uh, remember your team must consist of two to four people with more than 51% of hackers being incoming or current Berkeley students. Um, you should uh, also, as part of your submission, you should upload a three minute long demo of your hack to YouTube and send it uh, as part of you know, your team's dev post submission. And I'll go over that in just a second, like you know the actualities of how that looks like. Um, as far as the schedule goes, you're gonna stop coding at 10 a.m. on Sunday. And then at 11 a.m. your submission is going to be due. Your basically your write up, your essay about your uh, project. Um, and then finally at 12 p.m. we're going to announce the winners. Now this is gonna be our top five winners. And how this is going to work is we're going to have uh, the top five people present again to, to everyone in Plex, Plex Hacks. And then we're going to you know, take a final vote and decide who our top three prize winners are uh, for our uh, monetary prizes. So yeah, so a bit about how that's going to work. All right, now I'll, I'll hand it over to CFAS to talk a little bit about our theme. Yeah, okay, so our theme this year is social justice. Um, obviously, you can see like a, bun a bunch of pictures um, just to show about uh, Black Lives Matter, um, women's rights, abortion rights, um, just like LGBTQ rights. And this year, we chose the theme to be social justice because as you can see in the pictures, like this is a year we've been fighting for social justice a lot for like uh, Black Lives Matter and for equal economic economic um, rights, political, social rights. Um, Plex Tech stands without Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ plus rights, climate change, affordable health care for all, voting rights, the refugee crisis, and everything that's happening in the world. There are so many injustices happening in the world today, and we wanted to bring a platform so we can speak more about it and bring awareness to what's going on right now. And Nowadays, we use a lot of technological platforms to bring awareness to these issues, such as Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and so many other social media platforms. So this is why we decided to use social justice as our theme this year, because it's a really important thing that um, a lot of people should be focused on. Cool, thanks, Sifat. Um, now, I just want to go over what does a regular submission look like? So when you guys are done with your submission at uh, 10 a.m., right, you're gonna go to plexhacks.devpost.com. Now remember, you only have an hour to do this, right? Because uh, imagine this is 10 a.m., right? You've just finished your project. Now you need to submit it um, and you only have an hour. And what you need to do in this hour is you need to basically go to submissions and uh, you can create a new submission here. Um, we haven't opened it up yet because the hackathon hasn't started yet, but basically what you'll see is kind of like a template for you to fill out. Um, and the template will look something like this right here. So this is an example from another hackathon, uh, Hack Rice. And uh, this person who uh, did this hackathon won um, a prize. I can't scroll down. I can't scroll down. Okay, here we go. And um, so this is a great uh, kind of uh, template that we wanted to show you. So this is exactly how your uh, submission will look like. You'll have like a bit of pictures that you can upload and we definitely want you to upload pictures, screenshots of your app. But in addition to this, DevPost will give you an option to upload a YouTube video. Uh, that, now that YouTube video is really important. We want a three minute long team video of you demoing your product. Uh, it can be as simple as you guys hopping into a Zoom call and just recording a simple walkthrough of your app, right? Or like whatever you've created. Um, and it just has to be, you know, up to three minutes. If it's less, that's that's even better actually. So yeah, as, as, as um, basically as concise as you can make it um, and as informational you can make it that, that's great for us. Now that's kind of the, you know, the video part of it and the pictures part of it. 
But once you get down here, DevPost will give you a, a template for you to fill out. Um, and these basic like headers of the template are inspiration, what it does, how we built it, challenges we ran into, accomplishments, what we learned, uh, what's next, and what it's built with. Now these are just tags down here. Um, now what's important um, with this is you basically emphasize what you learned, right? What you kind of learned throughout this whole experience, what you what your background was before this, right? Like over here, this guy said, for a team of three younger developers. So it basically tells the judges that you learned a whole bunch of stuff in this hackathon. Um, and that's what judges are looking for, uh, the fact that you learned stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit about the dev post submission. And I hope you know you guys can navigate your way through this. If you guys have any questions, like during um, you know D Day time, then you can definitely like like hit us up on Slack. We'll be really responsive during that time because we know that's a pretty sensitive uh, a pretty sensitive hour there. But does anyone have any questions right now about how this dev post submission looks like or what you need to do here? I'll just man the chat, or you guys can unmute. Hello? <clears throat> yeah, what's up, Wish? Um, so when can we start submitting? It's a great question. You can actually start submitting your project at any time. Um, we recommend submitting it when you're actually done with the project. Uh, the only thing, yeah, you can start submitting at any time though. Uh, it just has to be due by 11, 11 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So if you want to start your submission now, or like I guess at 10 p.m., you technically could. You just wouldn't have a lot of stuff to put on there. So yeah. And 11 a.m. on Sunday to clarify. Yeah, sorry, 11 a.m. on Sunday. Yeah, this is a 36-hour hackathon. Right. Any other questions? I have a question. So for the, you, you were talking about the video we have to make. Is Are we presenting the same thing that we did on the video during the live presentation if you were in the top five? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so just clarify a bit on that. Uh, if you're in the top five, you're going to be giving a live presentation to judges and the rest of the Plex Hacks uh, audience. You know, we're going to send out a Zoom link. Whoever wants to come can attend. Um, and the presentation for that is you can make it similar to your, uh, like your video, but try to make it a little bit more interactive, right? Because this is a chance where you have an audience now and you need to demo your product to people who probably haven't seen your video yet. So, uh, yeah, take us through the basics and also try to take us through kind of the text that you have on your dev post. If you can explain a little bit more about that, that kind of shows us a little bit more of your background. So basically start from ground zero and build a better video per se, if that makes sense. Hey Aksha, we have a question uh, from Ashley in the chat. Um, she asks, do all team members have to be in the video? That's a great question. Uh, we're not gonna impose that restriction, um, but yeah, yeah, we're just not gonna do that because we know that there's a lot of virtual stuff going on. So we don't wanna, yeah, we don't wanna mess with your guys' workflow. Okay, all right, so yeah, I see another question. Can we do it about the COVID-19 pandemic? And yeah, rhythmic answer to that, you definitely could. Yeah, okay. Um, so now I'll hand it over, uh, well, I guess this is our judging panel. You guys have already seen these. Um, and I'll hand it over to Rithvik, who'll talk a little bit more about our judging criteria. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Akshat. Um, all right, so we have basically six, I mean, we have five things, five judging criteria that we're going to be um, evalu evaluating your projects on. Um, the first thing is our theme impact upon social justice, right? And this kind of ties into the question that I had, you know, that I answered on the chat just now. Can it be about the COVID-19 uh, crisis? I mean, it definitely can. But keep in mind that one of our like judging criteria is that um, it should, you know, kind of fit in with the theme. So like we want to see kind of like what, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's loose for a reason. But at the same time, like 
we want you to we want you to be really creative with like how you address this but ultimately it should have some loose connection to like social justice and we kind of want to see you know how you can think about that how creative you are and how you can tie in whatever projects you have to to social justice and that kind of like um ties me into the second second point which is originality right so like um something that's more unique and more original will um be more appealing to us as judges than um you know something that you know everyone might think of um so be creative that's that's one of the main things we're looking for um and then some of the other um criteria are like uh, practicality um you know how you it, you know that basically means like how useful is it um uh think of the end user as like just like in terms of like um you know some target demographic that you're that you're basically entertaining for for um for your project so like in terms of that in terms of that like target demographic like how useful is it that's basically what practicality means you know um other questions that we have on your how reliable is it um how much of an impact does your hack actually make to a relevant issue and so like that all contributes to the practicality kind of criteria that we have um the fourth criteria we have is technical difficulty so we kind of want to see like the depth of your knowledge and how you apply it to your project um so kind of like show us everything that goes into kind of like what you do right like we don't we don't want to just see the final output and kind of have to figure things out backwards from there kind of tell us like how did you get to your final like your end product like from ideation to to your you know your prototyping to to development and your testing and and then and to the end to like what it is actually in the end so kind of guide us through that process and walk us through that project process and that contributes overall to um, originality and to impact upon social justice. The better you can explain it to us, the better you can explain that connection and kind of really, really delve into that connection and you know your thought process and your in your thought uh, and you know um, your thought process and your creativity. The better it is for you. The more it helps you. Um, you know, like and I said this like and we've said this throughout like most of our workshops. We're really, really not looking necessarily for like how much of a legend you are. We're looking more like for about like we're we're looking more for like um you know your creativity um how you can tie things together how you can explain things um you know and how ultimately it relates to our our theme of of impact upon social justice so um that's that's what i'll say about technical difficulty um in terms of usability and design um i mean i think that's a little uh, pretty straightforward like how user friendly is it um can can i or like any one of our executive team members or like just anyone in, in general, um, you know, pick it up and get started right away. Um, and, you know, are you, have you thought everything like in terms of its design and its usability? Have you, have you put a lot of thought into that? Um, so these are kind of things that we're gonna be asking ourselves when we evaluate your projects. And, um, you know, I think it might help to think about all these things and we're gonna be really transparent about them before you start or, or while you're um, doing your project. So um think about all these things when um you know for your hack so that's the judging criteria um we have a little note down here about um the video demo um so like you obviously like akshat said we you're gonna, you're gonna have three minutes to submit a video demo um now like answering ashley's question again not everyone has to um be on that like so you can really decide like who's best at communicating um you know the 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 strength or effectiveness of your of your hack or like maybe do you want to involve everyone that's really up to you and i think that's maybe a strategic kind of thing as well to consider um so yeah like use your video demo be creative with your video demo too it doesn't have to just be like a it could be as simple like akshad said as like everyone getting on a zoom call and kind of recording it but it could be you know pretty creative and give yourself a, a chance to stand out like give yourself a chance for us to kind of like notice you and remember you um so yeah don't i mean just just have fun with it honestly like just have fun with it do whatever you're passionate about and, and you'll be fine um you I know mean, we got it we, we understand it so that's all i'll say about like the judging criteria um so um yeah, with that and, i'm gonna give it back to akshat yeah and one more thing i'd like to say about technical difficulty is um you know, we say that, you know, we want you to see, we want to see you explore technologies. So what that means is that, you know, the fact that you learn something new and put it into your hack, that's what we want to see by that. 
So if it's not, you know, objectively impressive, we don't care. Like, we don't care if uh, you use, like, the latest machine learning model. Um, and if you, like, learned it and then used it, that's great. But if you're using something that you've already learned, um, that's, like, not going to be as attractive as implementing something new. Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that you've learned something. Uh, that's kind of the most important part. So, yeah, that's what we mean by technical difficulty. How much did you kind of improve upon your previous technical experience? Okay. Uh, so now this is the interesting part, prizes. Uh, again, thank you to our sponsor, Intern Pursuit, for providing us with the opportunity to give out these prizes. Um, keep, uh, keep a lookout for future hackathons uh, by Plextech, where we get even more sponsors and get even better prizes than what we have uh, this summer. So that's going to be really great. Um, and one thing that I would like to point out is we have prizes for our top five finalists that we choose. And then our finalists present again um, to a live audience. And um, then they, uh, then we decide again, uh, you know, who gets the top three, uh, you know, how that kind of stacks up and everything. Um, so you can see here, uh, spots four and five get an honorary mention. Uh, now this honorary mention is something you could put in like your resume and stuff. So that's why we uh, give this to you. Uh, and this is gonna be, you know, like an official recognition and stuff like that uh, on our dev post and everything. So you could definitely point people there. And um, the more interesting part is our top three prizes. So first place 300 bucks, second place 200 bucks, third place 150 bucks uh, for your team. Um, and that's gonna be in the form of uh, Visa gift cards. Uh, that will be mailed to you. So if and when you do win, uh, we're going to email you asking you for your home address and stuff like that so that we can ship you the cards. And uh, yeah, we'll take care of like shipping costs and everything, obviously. Don't one have to worry about that. Is that like, obviously, like you're going to you know, split it with like your teammates and stuff like that. And so like, we'll like get all that information to like make that as easy of a process as possible for you. We don't want to like add any burdens like with the current pandemic and everything. So we'll make sure everyone gets like a, an equal share of like uh, of the prize prize money if, if you get in the top three. Um, yeah. Another note is um, for the uh, positions four and five, the official like kind of title is like honorable mention, not honorary mention. Um, so like, that's not good. Um, so like that's like honorable mention is like something that's like handed out like uh, a lot. So like that's something that you'll probably get um, it's something that you can use and, and, and put on your resume and, and it'll be on DevPost as well, like Akshat said. Um, and just to clarify again, um, it's on their schedule, but basically we're going to be choosing um, like a top five. Um, and then they're going to be like all the people in the top five are going to get to present to all of Plextech, our executive team, everyone, whoever wants to attend. And then uh, our sponsor, Intern Pursuit, who's actually going to be one of our clients. And they play a role in um, selecting like who gets um, to be part of our club for to work on ind industry projects in, in the fall as well. So that's a super cool opportunity there. So that's an additional incentive. Um, and then after that, we're going to do some more evaluation and then we're going to decide the top three. Um, so I hope that makes sense. If anyone has any questions about um, the prize um, or like, or the previous slide or anything else, um, you know, feel free to unmute yourself or just ask in the chat. I see we have a question already. We have some our source code. Uh, yeah, you do as part of a part of GitHub link. So one thing you guys should be doing um, throughout this hackathon is keeping a GitHub repository. Uh, it's basically impossible to collaborate with other people if you don't have a GitHub repository. So you definitely do need that. So when you're submitting on DevPost, it'll ask you for for that. And the reason why we ask for that is to make sure that your project actually does what you say it does. And also the fact, uh, it satisfies the fact that you didn't code the project uh, before, um, before, you know, 10 p.m. On, on today, basically, because GitHub keeps timestamps. We'll wait a few more minutes for anyone else who has questions. If you guys don't have questions, you guys are free to go. We'll send out an announcement, you know, when everybody can start hacking and stuff.